Hey guys, and welcome to part three of my 400 plus card eBay lot opening. So, we're gonna go through this third stack here. We just got one more part after this. So we got stack three, stack four. Let's just go ahead and get started. No need to dabble along with things. Oh wow, that is a first edition base set Caterpie. That is just a common, but a very cool way to start things. First edition base sets are always cool to see. We have a Root Fossil, HP is 40 on that one. Man, I've been having so much fun with this a lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. Kind of unfortunate that all of the good stuff seems to be front-loaded, so it wasn't uh, spread out too much, but there's still been some good stuff even in these uh, little uh, following stacks, so hopefully there's some more good stuff in here. We have Arcade Game, we have an Old Rod, a Poke po Pokemon Flute. It always feels so strange saying Pokemon Flute and not just Poke Flute. There's another one of those. A base set Kadabra. I would love to see an Alakazam. There's an Abra as well. We have a Fossil Egg. Ooh, a base set to Butterfree. Cool. Ooh, there's a Cleffa. That is actually a rare. Cleffa is one of the most... I don't know if I want to say overpowered, but when this game, when this card was introduced to the actual card game, this changed everything. Everyone, or not everyone, but very many people put these in their decks. Pretty crazy, because with the babies, whenever they get attacked, you basically have to flip a coin. If you get tails, you can't actually attack them, so they can kind of stall out the game. You can shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw seven cards to just get all the cards that you want. So very cool. I'm going to set that one aside. That card was a big deal for the actual uh, competitive side of things. We have Brock's Vulpix, a Potion Energy, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata. There is a Challenge. This one's from the Legendary Collections reprint. I think originally that was from Team Rocket. Uh, we have Blaine's Magmar. Nice. Misty's Seal and Misty's Poliwag. Can we get Misty's Polyrath? That would make my day. Uh, we have a Nidorina here. Lieutenant Surge's Spiro. No clue why he has that. There's another one. And another one! Gosh dang! Whoa, whoa, whoa. And another one! Jeez. We have Blaine's Rhyhorn. Misty's Polyworld. Come on, give me Misty's Polyrath, please. Ah, Misty's Seal. All right. Uh, ooh, what's this? Um... I think this is like an insert. This is supposed to be in a sealed package, and when you open it up, it has a chance to have Articuno, Moltres, or Zapdos as a promo card. So they gave me the inserts. I don't know if they are actually going to give me the promos themselves. So we'll find out. There's another one. Uh, we have an unknown N. Cool. We have a Pokedex and Bill's Teleporter. Wait, is there one more? No, that's it. So just keep going down the stack here. Grab me another good handful. Ooh, starting things off with a rare. I'm going to set that one aside. Erica's Victory Bell. Very cool. I love Erica. I love grass Pokemon. And I love rare cards. It's cool. We have Erica's Execute as well. The Boss's Way. We have Brock's Golbat. We have Brock's Mankey. Brock's Doug Trio. That one is also a rare. I love these gym sets, so I'm going to set that one aside too. We have Brock's Mankey. Misty's Shelter. Brock's Sandshrew. Brock's Geodude. Lots of Brock's. Well, Brock's two different Geodudes right here. I, they are from different sets, but still. Two Brock's Geodudes. Another one. There is a Giovanni. That is a rare. Not a holographic like we already have, but cool to see that one as well. And a rare Brock's Golem. Lots of rares from the actual uh, gym sets right now. I'm digging that. I hope we see more of them. We have Erica's Ivysaur. Erica's Execute. Ooh, Misty's Cloister. Another rare. Heck yeah. Uh, Misty Shell, they're just a common. Lieutenant Surge's Voltorb. Let's grab some more here. We have a Nidoran female. Erica's Oddish. There's a TV reporter. That's from the uh, World Championship 2004. Pretty cool. We have a first edition Potion Energy from Team Rocket. Yo, that is what I'm talking about. First edition Rare Jungle Jolteon. Heck yeah. That is awesome. That's my favorite card we've gotten so far today. We have a little insert here as well. There's a first edition full heal energy from Team Rocket. You can see the uh, stamp right there. Very cool. Whoa, look at that. We have a Destiny Deoxys uh, card. I think that might be, I don't know, is that from the movie? Is that like a, a promo from the movie? I'm not sure. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys know anything about this card. Very cool. Uh, we have Maxi. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Nice. Another gym rare. We have a Pokemon Breeder. That's also a rare. I guess I'll set it back there. Uh, Pokemon March. Sabrina's ESP. We have Curse Powder. Uh, Lieutenant Surge's Treaty. Potion. Imposter Oak's Revenge. Potion as well. There's an unknown O. So I think we have unknown N, O, and A at this point. There's another Lieutenant Surge's Spearow. Gosh dang. We have Energy Search. 
Okay, we have two more stacks here, I would say. Ooh, wow, look at this, guys. A holographic Tyranitar from one of the e-reader sets. That is awesome. I thought we were tapped out of the good stuff, but apparently not. We still got more. Let's go. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Base set Mewtwo holographic. That is amazing. Wow, okay. Well, we are not tapped out from the first video, guys. We still got more. Let's see what else there is here. Okay, we have the reverse holographic. That is the promo. You can see the promo stamp right there. If you went to the movie theaters back in the day for the third uh, Pokemon movie, they'd give you that. So I actually had that as a kid. Cool to have that again. I think I have a couple of these now, but very cool card. I love me some Entei. We also have... Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay, we got... Gosh dang, base set holographic Zapdos, my second favorite card of all time. We already got a base set Polyrath. Oh, my two favorite cards of all time in this lot. I'm going to lose my voice if I keep yelling. I need to... Oh, I need to calm down. That is going in a sleeve right now, though. That is so cool. Oh. I think I already have this guy as well from you guys sending it to me, but it's another card that I can have 20 of these and I will still be happy to see more because I love them to death. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We also have a holographic Zapdos from the Fossil set. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh, two of them. We have two of them. Why are there two holographic Fossil Zapdoses? What is next? Okay, I think we're, I think we're past the shinies, guys. That was amazing. Oh, Zapdos, I love you. We have Ancient Tomb here. Uh, we have a Healing Field. We have a Sydney Stadium. Battle Frontier. Mystery Zone. That is, that is indeed very mysterious. A base set to Metapod. Uh, Desert Ruins. High Pressure System. Life Herb. Cerulean City Gym. Ooh, a rare from the fossil set. Aerodactyl right there. Very cool. As well as a Horsey. So the last stack right there, right here, there might be some more shinies. Oh my gosh, there is. There's more shinies, guys. I am going to lose my voice. I need to stay calm. I'm going to do my best to stay calm, but right here we have from the Neo set, a holographic Kingdra. Gosh dang. We also have an EX Legend Maker Magneton. We have an EX Unseen Forces Knockdown. Very, very nice. We also have a base set to Clefairy, holographic. Gosh dang, beautiful as heck. We have, oh, another Zapdos, kind of dirty, but there is the promo Zapdos. We got... So much Zapdos action today, one of my favorites. So cool, oh my gosh, we even have a Mew right here. Nice. What? <laughs> okay, just to, just to show you guys, there are actually two base set holographic Mewtwo's in this lot. Holy crud. Jeez, we also have the Pokemon Forever, that's the uh, DVD insert for Suicune, very cool. There's also a ho -Oh. that is a promo, gosh dang, very damaged though, very, very damaged, so that's pretty unfortunate, but still very cool to see. I guess we actually got both the promos, so here's the two promo inserts. We got promo Moltres and promo Zapdos from those, so they actually included them, nice. Ooh, there's also the promo Mewtwo, I do already have this one, but still a very cool card. I always love seeing Mewtwo. Hey, speaking of Mewtwo, another one. This has a stamp right there. Let's see if I can show it. Uh, Kids WV presents Pokemon the first movie. This is a first movie promo. Very cool. There's also the Mew promo. I guess this is like the promo stack right here. That is awesome. There's also a Latias. I think that's from the uh, World Championships 2006. A shiny Latias right here. That's cool. I think... I'll have to look this up. I think this card is legit worth like 20 bucks or something. I gotta look into that. But that is awesome. It's like Latias Gold Star right there. Cool. There's also a Latios. This is just a non-shiny, but still, still reverse holo, which is awesome. And, what? 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 Okay. It appears that we have a base set, Shadowless. Holographic Mewtwo. I was a little bit thrown off right there at, at first because the colors were so different. Then I realized there's no shadow along the right side. Look at these two. There's a shadow along this right border right there. So this is shadowless. That is actually worth even more than these two. So we have three Mewtwo's from the base set, including a shadowless. That is insane. And the last card, oh my gosh, is a holographic Tyranitar. Wow. 
this lot is awesome. We still have one more part to go. I'm not expecting to get anything too cool in this last stack, but you never know, guys. <sighs> I'm sorry for just yelling in your ear for the past 10 minutes, but this has been amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time. Take care.